Welcome back friends and in this video we are going to see the property interface of Revit architecture. When you click on the wall button a new set of commands appear on the ribbon. This new set of commands combines the basic modify commands with the tab specific to your immediate process. In this case the process is adding a wall. You will also notice that the properties dialog box near the left of your screen changes. This is the properties dialog box. The properties dialog shows a picture of the wall you are about to place. And in this type we have been selected basic wall of 200 mm and this is default. If you click this picture Revit displays all the walls that are available in this model. There are many types of walls available in the Revit architecture model and we can select anyone or create a new wall for our model. So we'll just see how to place a specific type of wall. So I'll just press escape to come out of the command. And now I'll select wall from the ribbon and we'll see the specific commands used in the wall command. And now I'll just select this picture of generic wall 200mm. And from the drop down, I just select generic 250mm randomly. So, generic wall of 250mm has been selected, and the properties of that wall is been given in this drop down. So, to place the wall in the model, just click anywhere in this workspace, and I'll just drag the cursor, and I'll just left click my cursor to place the wall. So, if I press the cursor, a new wall has been started as a chain. We'll see these options like chain etc in the upcoming videos and I'll just press escape now. So we have placed a wall of 250mm thickness. And guys, you can zoom in and out by using your scroll wheel in the mouse. And now we'll see what is element properties. There are two different sets of properties in Revit, instance properties and type properties. Instant properties are available immediately in the properties dialog when you place or select an item. If you make a change to an element, the only item that are affected in this model will be selected. The properties dialog displays the instance properties of the item you have been selected. If we select this wall, in the properties dialog box, the options we see is called the instance properties. These are the properties which we use instantly or commonly. If no item is selected, this dialog displays the properties of current view with which you have been there. So if you unselect it by pressing escape button, this properties dialog just displays the properties of the current view in which we are there. You also have the ability to combine the properties with the adjacent dialog. Now let's take a closer look at the two categories of element properties in Revit. First we'll see about instance properties. For that, I'll just select the wall that you have drafted and the items that you can edit immediately are called parameters or instance properties. These parameters change only the object being added to the model at this time. Also, if you select an item that has already been placed in the model, the parameters you see immediately in the instance properties dialog change for only that item you have been selected. This makes sense. Not all the items are equally built in the real world. And the second element is type properties. Type properties when edited alter every time of the type in the entire world. To access the type properties, click the edit type option in the properties box. At this point, you have two choices. You can make a new wall type by clicking duplicate option from this type properties or you can start editing the wall properties type as shown in the drop down or you can edit the current properties of the wall that has been selected. In this type properties, I suggest making a duplicate of the selected wall so that the basic properties doesn't changes. So if you want to duplicate, just click on the duplicate option and give a name that is, I'll just click generic 250mm2 and click OK. So a duplicate wall has been created with the name of generic 250mm2. Now I can edit all the parameters or the properties of 
the generic 250 mm wall. You can edit the structure properties. So if you want to edit the structure, just click edit towards the structure option. And you can provide the thickness and also change the material of the wall. And we'll also see the material properties of Revit in upcoming videos. And after our needed changes, we'll just click OK. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you got a knowledge on the properties dialog of Revit. If you have any doubts, just ping me in the comments. And in the next video, we'll be discussing on the view window of Revit. And don't forget to share this video if you find it useful and subscribe to Civilcraft YouTube channel for more interesting videos on civil engineering.